So, so apparently I forgot to record an intro for this video. I don't know what happened there. So, hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. The Blue Ghost Lander is continuing to kill it in its recent moon mission, which recently wrapped up, and they have sent back some stunning images. And its diamond ring photo, chef's kiss, super amazing. So for today's video, let's catch up with Blue Ghost, see how her mission went, and take a look at some of the stunning images that she's delivered thus far. Because there are some firsts here. And I'm a fan of space firsts. Space firsts. Firsts. That word's weird, right? Firsts. So our first first are these images of a total eclipse from the moon's surface. And this is a first because this is the first time that a privately operated lunar lander has captured images of a total eclipse from the moon's surface. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lander, which successfully touched down on the moon on March 2nd, 2025, recently transmitted breathtaking images of a diamond ring eclipse, a rare celestial phenomenon that occurs when the sun emerges from behind Earth, forming a brilliant ring of light in the lunar sky. Blue Ghost observed this event during the total lunar eclipse on March 14th, 2025, when the Earth passed directly between the sun and the moon, casting its shadow across the lunar surface. In these most recent photos, Blue Ghost captured Earth blocking the sun during the eclipse at around 4.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on March 14th. As the sun began to peek around the Earth, it formed a bright ring of light in the dark lunar skies. Firefly Aerospace announced on social media, Blue Ghost got her first diamond ring. And what's cool about this is that it's really just the perspective change. While observers on Earth witnessed a blood moon as the moon was engulfed in the Earth's shadow, Blue Ghost observed the reverse, a solar eclipse where the Earth blocked the sun from view. And this diamond ring effect is a well-known astronomical event that occurs on Earth during total solar eclipses. It occurs when sunlight streams through valleys and ridges along the moon's surface just before or after totality, creating a burst of light that resembles a sparkling diamond on a glowing ring. But again, from Blue Ghost's vantage point on the moon, the effect was reversed. Instead of the moon blocking the sun, the Earth became the eclipsing body, obscuring the sun and creating the same dramatic phenomenon in the lunar sky. And this marks a rare opportunity to see the diamond ring effect from a perspective never seen before. The spacecraft's onboard imaging systems provided a clear view of the solar corona peeking around the edges of Earth, creating a bright halo of light in the darkness of the lunar sky. And scientists are particularly excited by this because new images like this open up some new avenues. The ability to observe and document eclipses from the moon opens up new possibilities for lunar-based astronomy. Unlike observations from Earth, where atmospheric conditions can distort visibility, a lunar observatory could capture celestial events with absolute clarity. These images also contribute to scientific studies on how sunlight interacts with planetary bodies and their atmospheres. Observing eclipses from the moon allows researchers to better understand Earth's atmosphere, as the refracted sunlight creates a glowing effect around the planet's edges, revealing valuable atmospheric data. And I think little wins like this are the unheralded successes of missions like Blue Ghost. And I'm guilty of this as anyone. It's like, yay, we landed on the moon. Anyway, but this success in simply documenting this eclipse underscores the growing role of private space companies in lunar exploration. Traditionally, only government space agencies like NASA or Roscosmos have conducted detailed lunar observations. Now with commercial companies landing and operating on the moon, new possibilities for scientific discovery and long-term exploration are emerging. And another amazing image was captured on March 14th when Blue Ghost turned red. The lander downlinked more imagery from the moon during the totality of the solar eclipse. And these images, rapidly captured by their top deck camera with different exposure settings, were stitched together into this quick clip. The red hue is the result of the sunlight refracting through the Earth's atmosphere as the sun is blocked by the Earth. And finally, before Blue Ghost shut down on March 16th, 2025, we received this final series of images of a sunset from the moon.
In a press release, Firefly stated, Firefly Aerospace, the leader in end-to-end -end responsive space services, today announced it met 100% of its mission objectives for Blue Ghost Mission 1 after performing the first fully successful commercial moon landing on March 2nd, completing more than 14 days of surface operations, 346 hours of daylight, and operating just over five hours into the lunar night, with the final data received around 6.15 p.m. on March 16th. This achievement marks the longest commercial operations on the moon to date. Jason Kim, Firefly CEO, said, We're incredibly proud of the demonstrations Blue Ghost enabled, from tracking GPS signals on the moon for the first time, to robotically drilling and collecting science deeper into the lunar surface than ever before. We want to extend a huge thank you to the NASA CLIPS initiative and the White House administration for serving as the bedrock for this Firefly mission. It has been an honor to enable science and technology experiments that support future missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And as I'm sure you've already guessed, Blue Ghost Mission 2 is gearing up for its launch possibly as early as next year. This Blue Ghost mission will touch down on the far side of the moon and operate government and commercial payloads for more than 10 days on the lunar surface. So all in all, I'd say that the Firefly team is pretty thrilled with how everything went. I feel like sometimes, especially if something's gone wrong, I'm over here sharing quotes from CEOs about silver linings and things that we've learned, but not this time. Firefly's like, nope, crushed it, mic drop. See you next year. Also, I love that if you go to Firefly's website, they've got a spot where they say, Blue Ghost Mission 2 still has payload capacity available for additional customers with deployment options and services available in lunar orbit and on the far side of the moon. Get in touch to learn more about joining our mission. And they even offer custom quotes, like you fill in this info and they will tell you what it's gonna cost. Amazing. I don't want to waste their time, but really, I want to see all these questions. But don't worry, I eventually stopped. So let me know your thoughts. Is Firefly like the new golden child of the private space industry? Or maybe they just got lucky on their first landing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video.